we need to update on the last occasion. So as the last occasion, as I mentioned previously, Tremaine kind of set the world on light or set Kanye's world on light when he kind of aired him out and basically said, hey, tell the world why you weren't invited to Virgil's funeral and basically gave the assumption that Kanye was specifically told by the family not to come to a private funeral because I guess at that time he was still not on good terms with, with Virgil and they had heard everything that would happen before behind the scenes so they didn't want him anywhere near that funeral. And then, of course, he never really responded to it. He then started arguing with these white girls and Gigi Hadid and Belly Beaver and just kind of avoid the smoke with Tremaine. I guess it was eating away at him because I was saying on my Twitter and other places, why isn't this guy attacking these Tremaine as much as he's tracking everybody else? Why is he kind of being selective in his responses? Because the world wants to know, like, if this is true about you, then you are a real piece of shit because your friend was dying of a terminal illness and here you are stressing about designs and what lookbook looked the best and who did what. It's just obscene. So I guess... Um, it was eating away at Kanye and he decided to pick up the phone and text Tremaine and then post it on Instagram because that's what he loves to do, right? He's a consummate guy that loves to kind of share every private conversation he has with people online because why not? So it says as follows, this is Tremaine, I guess, reaching out to him maybe, I don't too sure. Like I said before, Kanye's got a weird thing, either he doesn't have a lot of people saved on his phone or he might just do a thing where he's got this OCD where when he finishes talking to you on text, he deletes the whole chain. He deletes the whole thing he just goes right swipes left delete and then keeps it moving maybe that's the thing that he does because every time he puts a screenshot there's not a lot of bubbles it's just like it's just some people he's speaking to you've only spoken to for the first time now which is bizarre anyway continues the screenshot here shows remain name i guess his syntax and yay and it says you still ain't tell the people why you weren't invited to virtual's private funeral why you wrote on him when you knew he was sick that's the ether that's the shit that can't you can't address that's the shit you can't live with all that hate you spewed on your brother kind of response good to hear from you you bitch i hate it virtual designs and d and you did too if you loved his design so much why you and luke are not wearing it head to toe christine i christine told me he didn't have cancer and i believed her so clearly there's a lot to unpack from there, but the good to hear from you, you bitch, might be one of the best opening lines I've ever seen in my entire life. And I'm sure a lot of people are going to be stealing that for their own sort of like, you know, personal enjoyment and whatnot. The other line about Virgil's designs, again, is mute and unnecessary to say, especially now, considering, you know, this was just a few days after his birthday, if he was still around, he's, you know, he's one year anniversary of his death is coming up very, very soon. It just felt really, really tasteless to be like, yeah, um, you know, you didn't like his designs and whatnot and argue about it, because that's not important, because I think most people, sensible friends, sensible people, um, you know, critical critiques out there right critical critically thinking like based for critiques can say and agree that yes we all know the guy wasn't a super talented designer you know we, he wasn't fucking alexander mcqueen he's heyday we are aware of this but the one thing that he did offer i feel like at the time was a a, a sort of example that it could be done because he was obviously not everyone's cup of tea the fact that he could do it should give everybody hope that they could do it too in their own way but people are so stubborn and people are so flipping um what's that insistent that they always get the flipping right package of person to come along that they kind of dismiss that and say oh no but he wasn't good at design so it doesn't really matter but i think that was never the point the point was to say look it can be done here's me also doing it at record speeds with many different games going at the same time, multi, 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 multi tasking, but I'm still absolutely smashing it. So that's basically, I think he's legacy in that regard, but you know, maybe I'm wrong. It continues. Um, of course, the white Luca thing, same thing. I think I mentioned this myself actually prior. When again, these guys are like this all the time. When people were attacking Virgil, and basically saying that he needs to come harder with his designs. I remember one of the things that they would basically say back in retort to us, was like, oh yeah, no, oh no, his house is done, how you just don't get it. They will be like, hold on, okay, let's imagine we don't get it, but why are none of your friends or none of his friends wearing it? Why are none of them posting images of them going to the store and buying the newest jacket or whatnot? They don't do that. They will just wait for freebies or discount and stuff, but no one's really supporting it the same way they support other brands that they wear day to day. So clearly, the interpretation you get from that is that people don't really rate the clothes as much as they say they do or pretend to live like they do. So that's something that I feel like is a low blow because I guess other people could be applied to as well. Next screenshot says, Tremaine back to Kanye again. He says, nigga, I told you he had cancer. You are so full of shit. Um, Kanye responds back to Tremaine and says, Virgil never said anything to me himself. 
which again is a narcissistic thing, right? Someone has to come and tell you something. Um, I spent the most time of my life with my mum, second most time with Kim, third most time with Virgil. I only hired you because LVMH took Virgil and I love the way you dress and I miss you. <laughs> this passive aggressive sort of like indirect fucking thing is really hilarious that they're going through. And he says, I told you, I see you flying everywhere on by Chicago to check in, check in on him. Rotted. Rotted. So basically he's saying that Kanye was going everywhere but Chicago. So he wasn't going back home. It's like a double entendre. He wasn't going back home or visiting his friends. And he says, yeah, no, you fired Virgil, he says, right? Virgil worked in for himself for years before the Louis job. You and no one, you and no one else destroyed Jesus Christ. So th that's something we didn't know. Kanye actually fired Virgil before he took his job at Louis Vuitton. So he's actually jobless and doing all that stuff he was posting on Instagram, which I guess must have been just like freelance stuff that he was kind of getting on top of. And it continues. It says here, um, I've made mistakes. I screamed at Virgil. I was jealous of Virgil. I felt betrayed and lied to by Virgil. I felt he gave Drake the green diamond watch just to fuck with me. <laughs> I love how he makes everything about himself, innit? He's the consummate narcissist, man. Literally everything is happening to him because of him. It's never just things happening on their own. Isolation, coincidence, doesn't exist. It's just all attack, attack, attack. It says here, it continues, but I love Virgil too and I miss him and I miss my family and one thing I wanted to say and would have said at the funeral would be I've been to directly ASAP. I saw Rocky sitting on one side of the funeral and I saw her Bari sitting on the other side. What is he talking about here? This this conversation started with Tremaine being very clear and saying this, you still haven't told the people why you weren't invited to the private funeral and now it's divulged into... Um, what you call it, Kanye basically talking about why he felt, you know, explaining he screamed at Virgil and all this stuff and nonsense about Drake's green watch, it's really bizarre. Um, he says, yeah, but I saw Rocky and Bari now sitting at the funeral and I just wanted to grab the mic and say, don't let the people split you gang up like they did mine, I'm a leader. The, the, why does he hate punctuation so much? Not a comma or full stop to be found anywhere. I wonder if he thinks that's like a lover level of mind control. Maybe he went and did his Googles and found out that fucking question marks and punctuation marks and fucking full stops and paragraphs were flipping created by some person from the third reich no not third from the kkk or something because third reich you know he might have a bit of a soft spot for it but you know what i mean it's so weird anyway it continues don't let people split you up don't let people split up your gang like they did mine i'm a leader and rocky is a leader see it says that's a, i like how he, he insults his friends without realizing it so barry's out there fighting his battles from backing him and being you know a contribute your yay kind of bodyguard not body right yay right hand man in a way and then here he's basically telling the world that rocky's the main guy of ace up mob and you know barish just fall in line basically it's what he's kind of saying in a roundabout way which is hilarious to say the least it continues uh, your brothers come back together and get behind rock the way my gang was behind me at one point Again, he would want that one. He want everyone just to be around him again. Like to, honestly, the self absorption or the lack of self awareness is really frightening from that guy. I'm not going to lie, incredibly, incredibly frightening. And then I think I have a quick check here before I bounce. That might be it. You know. Oh no, there's another one. So the update. No, and then of course the update on that text was this, which says, um, "I guess this is your long winded answer to to why you didn't get invited to your brother's funeral," <laughs> which is hilarious. And he says as follows: that, "So he's my brother then." We as people have lost the ability to have a farm ourselves. We all talk, we all take big jobs at white companies, and whether we like fashion or not, Bernard is a genius. Is genius is in gene businesses, sorry, and he don't give a fuck about these posters, text messages. He owns real estate, and what do we own? Braids. The word nigger. <laughs> Honestly, what is this anything to do with what he's fucking being accused of? This is fucking bizarre, isn't it? Literally one of the wildest things you see happen in real time. It honestly is. This guy is fucking next level. Literally to me, next level. But I guess that might be it in terms of updating, in terms of that, right? Is there, is there anything more on that regard? I want to talk about the train and Virgil stuff. Um, oh, this is it. Let's continue here. I think I mentioned that, that right? Uh, where can I see it? Yeah, and then they continue arguing again here. Another text. Uh, this keeps going on and on, going on. Um, it says here in real estate... Um, 
It says here, we need Martin Rose though, no cap. She the Oracle. Mix that with J Boogie Manufacturing. Mix that with farming and our own police force. And this is real culture. Thank you for reaching out. This was tremendous. <laughs> He's hilarious. Even the high in comments says, and, you're, and you hired me because I worked for Frank on Be a Blonde and Endless and Boys on Cry magazine. You know art, which is funny. The tremendous T is about to go crazy though. And then... Uh, uh, I also wanted to, and it continues as I wanted to say also that I'm sorry to Shannon for t for taking most of her husband's time from her and their kids. And thank you for letting me be around this amazing human for so long. My life is forever changed by Virgil, just as this was forever changed by mine as Christian. Tremaine, I'm sorry for always judging you for being an atheist because these texts have brought you out something in me that needed to express, but I couldn't find the worst until now. Thank you for thank you for that. You've been tremendous. He says, I'm actually agnostic. Big for difference, LOL. Which already, what, does this mean he's being funny or is he LOLing like, I wish, hope we can be friends again? Because this is proof again of why Kanye is where he is. These guys are fucking indulged him for so long to the point where he can get away with absolute murder. He can do whatever he wants, say whatever he wants, and people just kind of, you know, ha ha he he afterwards. Personally, I think what the guy did and said about him isn't, something you can ha ha about that's something you need to kind of run a fade with like let's step outside no cameras no nothing let's run a fade you can't be talking to me like that let's, we have to fight but the fact that this guy never fights and just does the Karen shit which he did earlier with Diddy and fucking Boosie you're going to be the two main people that are going to be you know under suspicion for her murdering me if you come off like loads of Karen shit but you know you can't be joking around with somebody that said what he said but anyway, maybe it's just me it continues off one that says um it's a hard to find these real friends when you're walking mill ticket. I love him as a friend and my brother. He says, uh, I love him as a friend and a brother. He loved me. The past few days have felt like an extension of Virgil's funeral. Like he's mentioned oh, Virgil. Honestly, let this man rest in peace, man. Like, God damn it, man. He's tarnishing his legacy. Like, every time he mentions it because it's never anything really that good it's always this weird backhanded compliment type things he's saying like that he's happy to get off his chest it's just weird it seems that the only um he only sorry he says here, the past few days i felt like essential virgil said that he only came with love and only posted on the right thing the same as kim and drake but he's still passed <laughs> i love how he despises people who just like want to just keep their head down and work and be not be bothered that's now been a, that's like a bad thing for him it's like it's what a weird guy he said we need more of these companies than we need to be black faces we need tech factories in america F talk water um talk later said but you and virgil and drake and kendrick and myself be giving a culture away to these company for free frank what's that thank bank frank bank of us herding our tribes in fucking absolutely lost it to the point where I can't even read these texts anymore like he's still going which I guess is funny because you know Tremaine left him on red at 6am in the morning like enough he says here LVMH bought Supreme which they haven't why does he keep saying that he keeps saying LVMH bought Supreme but they didn't if I'm not mistaken it's VF Corp right VF Corp VF Corp buys Supreme yeah why does he keep saying it's LVMH then maybe he's trying to push something out there into the universe so it's, it's true or maybe he saw something online that might have said it. I'm not really too sure, but he's not letting go of this idea that LVMH bought fucking um, Supreme when they clearly didn't. Like, no, they did not. It was VF Corp that bought it. But hey, am I going to go up there and tell the guy that he's wrong? Obviously not. None of my business. Let them continue on with the madness. I can watch and enjoy. That's basically it. Let me see if I can get it. It's that one. Let's move this to the back a little bit. Let's see if it's that screenshot. What's that screenshot? What? Right. I also want to say thank you to the. the what's that one? Yes, yeah, the one. Yeah. Uh, there we go. So as you can see here, got first the screen to the VF Corp complete acquisition of Supreme. That's from twenty twenty. So I don't know what um that he's talking about. Maybe he means LVMH bought fucking VF Corp. I'm not really too sure, but still it's a very interesting thing to see overall from them lot and i think that might be the end of the text messages right yeah it is the end thank god it's the end because these guys are legitimately making my brain go spaz 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 but yeah hopefully it gets fixed maybe it won't who knows but it's entertaining to say the least to watch it from afar to watch it from afar